I just, out there, I don't know what people out there are saying. I mean, Brad Hazard persists in interrupting. She's indicated she'll take it on notice. Why the hell you'd take it on notice? You then asked, uh, with you, you agree, or you asked it, you, and this is the question. Mark said to her, do you agree with the Premier? It is a person born biologically female. She didn't even agree to that, Mark. She said, no, I've got to take it on notice. And you're accused of playing silly games. Well, I think it's a massive insult to every woman in New South Wales that when they present at a hospital for medical treatment, most particularly in the maternity ward, the head of the health department and the health system is unable to say what a woman is. And, and just last week in Newcastle at a community meeting, I had a, um, a complaint, very serious complaint, a woman upset that her mother-in-law presented um, at uh, a hospital with ovarian cancer and had to fill in a form to declare what gender she was. Well, obviously, if you've got ovarian cancer, um, you, you're a woman. And um, the, the, the lady was grossly offended by it. I mean, people are worried that Very. their obvious gender, uh, female and male, is not yeah. being recognised by the health system and under the stress of medical attention, it can be very upsetting, traumatic for people. So you'd think that uh, at least this Susan Pearce, instead of providing non-answers, effectively no answer, would agree with the Premier and just say the obvious. It's an adult biological female but, and get on with her job, her yeah. highly paid job. But you, you raised the New South Wales Anti-Discrimination Act of 1977. She didn't even allude to that. There is a definition there which says a woman means a member of the female sex irrespective of age. The age question is added. That means a six-year-old is still a woman, a six-year-old or a 60-year-old. Uh, I mean, but two months, two months after Professor Murphy took Alex Antich's question on notice, he provided a definition in 78 words, which included the Department of Health does not adopt a single definition. The frameworks adopted to define a person's gender include chromosomal makeup, the gender assigned at birth, and the gender with which a person identifies. Alec Ansich responded by saying it was absolute drivel. You'd agree, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, it's like a Monty Python skit, it isn't is. it? These are highly paid bureaucrats <laughs> who can't state the obvious. And it's like watching Monty Python at their peak. So, Alan, we can laugh about it, but I suppose the serious side is Very. That a lot of people get offended by it, uh, mm. quite rightly so, when they're in the medical system needing attention and having to fill out silly forms declaring the obvious or even worse uh, pregnant women being described as the, the, the or new, new uh, newly arrived mothers uh, being described as the lactating parent it's grossly offensive mm. and um, uh, you know this stuff is just but when the you radar, asked the loopy. question you asked you persisted in trying to get an answer and Brad Hazard the health minister called you a bully well he did I'm, I'm just representing constituents of mine upset in the health system about this and others in the general public thinking that the whole system's just gone um, about mm. crazy, mm. gone absolutely mad just that a woman about... at the head of the health system can't define what a woman yeah. is when the Premier's already done it. So, just... you know, Hazard uh, had plenty of abuse of me. I said to him, Alan, I'd been insulted by professionals. Yes, I'm sorry, that's... Brad, you're not in their league. Not and, in uh, their league. And that was the truth of it.